Hey guys, in here, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Cactus Evergreen series. That's right, guys, it only took me 9 episodes to finally figure out what episode I'm starting. All tricks aside, it is Monday, which means I'm starting recording this episode later than any other episode ever. You know, in the first few episodes, I would have finished them by now, but you know what? I'm recording it at 6 p.m. on Monday, and I have a lot of things to do this episode. So, we need to get the resources. We need to finish the designing of the actual floor. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have redstone resources, thank goodness, because we're gonna need those later on. You see, I found out that you can make a zero-tick cactus farm, and we're gonna need that. We're gonna need a lot of green dye for all the grass block textures, but that should be very simple. I just need to go find a desert, and luckily, there is a desert nearby, I think. I, I actually don't know. I took a screenshot of coordinates of one, so I'll go find the desert. We'll collect some sand and cacti later. That's not what I'm worried about right now, though. On our resource list, we have concrete, green dye, but we also need birch wood. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna be doing time lapses later on, so I'm not gonna time lapse this, but I am going to clear out a lot of this forest and just see how far I can go. I will be back whenever I have cleared out a lot of this forest. I'm probably gonna clear out, like, this whole area around here, and I'll update you guys, or whenever my inventory fills up with logs, one of the two. I don't think the axe is gonna break, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's been a few hours since, well, it's been about three hours exactly since the last clip. It's actually 9.05 p.m. So I actually got myself quite a bit of birch, and then I went back into the sand texture, and I actually changed it up a little bit, and actually integrated some oak into it, and I realized, well, stripped, obviously I'm gonna be making all of you stripped, but birch, birch, oak. This is actually the exact amount. I have no idea how much birch I need. So basically, we're just going to start off with this for now. And then as we go along in today's episode, we'll collect more. There are, there are well, there is a birch forest over there. And I kind of don't want to deforest anymore. I don't think I really can deforest too much more without going way too far. I mean, I did kind of a lot. We'll need to get some green dye now. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to make ourselves a zero tick cactus farm. How much iron do we have? Not that much. Okay, well, we're gonna make the most of it. Goodbye, iron. And this, and I'm just gonna put a block here. And I think what I need to do is just put rails here, here, and here. I don't think I really needed to grab all six, but we're just gonna do this, this, and this. Put them against the chest. Okay, I said push against the chest. Oh, oh, okay, so that's against the chest. That's against the chest. That's against the chest. It's fine. So we have that, and then we need to go... Okay, guys, I built it. I'm super smart, obviously. That should be pretty much everything. So, all we have to do is turn it on. And the way we do that is, uh, well, I, I need to grab my stone back. I need to actually build up here. But we just turn on this lever like this. There we go. Do, do, and do. Please work. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Yay, it's working. And there we go. Now I have, like, a little staircase to get up. So whenever we turn this thing off, like this. We just grab these cacti, we'll go up our little stairs like this, so that way the mobs don't spawn on them. And we'll go like that, that, and that. While that's running, I'm going to just run this way, so to escape the noise. But there we go, we have a zero to cactus farm now. This will provide us with all the green dye we need. And since we have a lot of coal from mining, I might as well just grab like a stack of this stuff. And I might as well just run over here and start smelting it. And let's just see how much green concrete we can get. Oh, yeah. We also need green terracotta, but we mined out terracotta, so it's okay. We have things. We're so prepared. Granted, I'll have to, you know, go resource gathering in another episode for the other stuff. But we'll get there when we get there. Okay, so after a little bit of smelting, I have... Well, I put a lot of coal in here, and these are finishing up. But I did some math, and... I am really hoping this is right. We are not doing the beacons today because the beacon blocks are a little bit weird and I need a lot more blue stuff for that. I'm also not really going to be worrying too much about the prismarine right now. That might be a different episode. You may be asking, Aiden, why are you not worrying about prismarine? Well, you'll see once we do the calculations because the prismarine is just one block out of the whole place and the beacons are just two blocks out of the whole place and I really don't see the need to put so much stress on them. Also, we're not even going to be doing the beacons. The beacons are their own episode, so that'll be like its own thing, so we don't have to worry about that right now. I also need to dig out the area for the water, so... Uh, that's a thing. Here we go. Here's the math. So we need 10 stacks of stripped oak logs. That's actually less than I thought. I didn't take into account 
that a furnace and an enchantment table take up a full block, meaning we don't have to put a floor under there. But for everything else we do, because I, I'm picky and I want it to look good. We also need 50 stacks and 40 birch planks. So about almost two shulker boxes, but not quite. We also need 93 stacks and 48 strip birch logs. We need one shulker box of green terracotta. I actually finished that one. So this is the one we can check off the list but I'm just showing this to you guys here. We need 10 shulker boxes of green concrete wet and dry. And the reason why we need one here and 11 here, um, I took the green into consideration, but I also factored in exactly, like this is exactly how much is needed. Not, okay, it's not actually exact, but like it's a, we should have just about enough, maybe a little bit more. And we need 10 shulker boxes of green concrete. And I'm trying to fill up like two. Oh, we also need five stacks and 40 sand. And uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I mean, it's probably just going to be the leftovers of us crafting concrete. So, or me crafting concrete. You guys are watching me craft concrete. So that's fine. All right. So enough rambling about math. After I do this, I'm going to go into a time lapse. So here is a time lapse of me collecting sand and gravel. Feel so out of line every time that you call my name. I want to make your move, but I'm scared to say it. It's taken a while to get this far. I'm caught in the way. It's taken a lot to get this close. Cause we're one in the same. Chasing colors after dark in your heart. I believe in you the way you pull me. Okay, guys, that was the sand and gravel time lapse. Well, collection time lapse. You know what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little music there. This is what we have so far. So we have one, two, three, four full shulker boxes of sand. This is for concrete as well as any 
well, I, I don't know, any sand that I need for the build as well. We also have three shulker boxes of gravel. So we'll have enough concrete by the end of this, which is awesome. So we're all good on this. I just need to make the dies. So that is perfectly fine. We are all good on sand and gravel, I believe. If I need to get more, I'll just do it quickly off camera because I think... This is most of it. All right, so right now we have two full shulker boxes, I believe, of birch logs. Am I correct on that assessment? Yes, I am. Am I seriously about to be out of all the sand and gravel, or really the gravel? The sand's fine. The gravel is what we need to worry about. Look at that. We're running out. So let me just put the rest of it in here. And I'll just do this for now. And I'll just go like that. Look at this, guys. We are having... We have so much right now. There's so much of this stuff here. All right, so I'm gonna just get some more resources off camera. And then whenever we come back, I'll update you guys once again. And hopefully we'll have enough stuff. While this is smelting, I should probably talk to you guys about how I'm gonna make this all into, well, concrete. You see, I do need quite a bit of concrete powder in this build but I also need quite a bit of regular concrete. I don't fancy just left and right clicking at the same time for all of eternity because one, this could be a lot of time. Two, this could be a lot of durability. So just because I can, and I feel like it's going to help out in the future, I'm gonna build a concrete destroying TNT machine thing. And I have some uh, obsidian in here so I can make a beautiful blast chamber, but I need to figure out how to build it and where to build it. I kind of like the idea of it being up here. I need to look up a tutorial, but I already know something. I do need quite a bit of slime blocks and I don't think I have enough, do I? Oh no, I have 15, okay. But there is one thing I know I don't have and I know I need, and that is a dead coral. The dead coral is the whole thing that makes it work, and I know exactly where to go, because it's on my way to my base, actually. I just tend to fly over it, meaning I'll have to stay closer to the ground. Let's go grab more rockets before I travel nine or 10,000 blocks and then get stuck there. So the reason why we need a dead coral is because that's what helps with the duplication of the TNT. You probably know this, and you probably don't care. You just want to see me build the thing, so I'm just gonna go build the thing. Okay, guys, so it's actually the next week. <laughs> Since the last clip that I recorded i think i don't know it's been quite a while but uh yeah we didn't upload an episode last week so this is like not good because yeah you i'll explain all of this in a second i know you're really, like really confused right now but last week what the plan was was to upload a video but cactus gaming could not do that i think i just mentioned that i didn't want to do it all by hand so i made a concrete maker so if we just fly up here i did some redstone don't worry i built it in a testing world first and uh here's the thing right i was like okay cool i can make this thing perfectly fine add all the resources i went out and got the coral as you guys know but then i looked at a design and they needed honey blocks because the honey block stops the water and then it does the the pushing of the tnt so then i'm gonna put that there for now this is what it looks like so this is the farm but then aiden how'd you get the honey well you see after clearing out this forest i realized there's quite a few beehives around so i uh utilized them went out traveled a little bit more searched for more bees and i made a bee farm i just sat in here for a while and i went and i made this engulfed encased area i mean not engulfed but yeah it's like that um i didn't ask for you siri i made this thing so we have flowers around here i can hear the buzzing of the bees and uh there's there's no honey being produced right now because i keep taking it all but the idea is the comparator will power up and then it'll all be good. It'll be pretty cool. I don't know what I'm saying, but the point is we have a honey farm. I, I don't know what else to do. So I'm just going to actually show you guys how this thing is meant to work. And then we're going to end off the episode. And next episode, we'll start off with us actually using the TNT concrete maker. We head up this ladder. Normally I, I have an light truck, so I don't have to do that, but we're going to bring all our shulker boxes. We're going to put the concrete into the, these chests right here. We're going to open this door, close the door. We're going to face this rest on torch. And as I'm placing it, another one's going to dispense out. So that regulates the actual like speed of it. I'll put the link to the design down in the description for you guys. But we have like this water thing that makes it and it does a splitty thing and then it pushes it down. And then while this pushes it down, it sends a signal up through here. So whenever this flashes, it sends this signal, which does the TNT duplication device thing, which drops the TNT down to blow it all up. So that way I don't have to use my pickaxe. So that's dumb. I'm really hoping this thing works. I probably need to do a test run of it before next episode. So I am going to end off today's episode by doing the test. And this test will determine whether or not we can actually do this thing. By the way, I had to do some recalculations. So, um, I kind of short guessed how much green terracotta I needed. I may have accidentally substituted green terracotta for the green concrete powder. So that's bad. All right. So here we go. We're going to put some of the concrete powder into this chest right here. I'm just going to put it into the hopper. Actually, here we go. You guys ready for this? We're going to grab one out of here. 
And this is gonna be the test. I really hope this works. If this doesn't work, it's gonna be really upsetting. I I'm gonna check the redstone. Okay, so this is all good. Yeah, that's that. Are the repeaters set to one tick? They are. This redstone line comes up through here. This bud activation works. Okay. And this should be fine. The observer facing the right direction. That could have been bad. See, this is why you check your redstone. If this doesn't work, I'm quitting the episode. Three, two, one. Oh, that's TNT. I hear it. Hold on, I'm going to turn down the volume on this thing just so you can hear me, but I heard TNT. All right, I saw it again. I think it's working, guys. I think... This thing is actually working right now. So, let me just, uh, put this back in here. Yeah, that was really fast. Okay, so, we're pretty much good there. If we head down here to the storage. I, I'm, I mean, I, I really dropped a lot of items. Wow. Uh, okay, so let's just get rid of the stuff we don't want in here. Concrete in there, but it works. I'm such a genius, obviously, and I did it all off camera because I didn't know how long it would take, and I know me building random stuff and doing that is kind of boring, and you guys have been watching me just collect resources all day, so you kind of don't really want me to do anymore, but there it is. We have a concrete making machine. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That's why I didn't pick it up, because my inventory is full. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, like I said, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, join my Discord server, links in the description and the pinned comment. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ingredincha. And guys, if you really did enjoy this episode, be sure to share it around and share my channel around. It really does help out the channel. And uh, I am pooped. I am pooped out right now. Okay, I bet you could tell by the way I'm just like talking to my microphone. I'm just like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So peace out, guys, and thanks for watching.